Hello everyone, this is Caffriel bringing you another episode of Let's Play Vantage Master. Today we're going to be taking on the TikTok Clock Temple. It's always blurry, so time doesn't matter. The enemy master, I am actually not sure what class the enemy as master is, has a uh, higher magic power than we do and generally lower other stats. In particular, very low physical attack and fairly low speed. It also has access to every Nadial and Magic that we have, so we're equal on that regard. Not much more for the pre-battle analysis here, so let's just get started. And checking the Enemy Master's attack range is adjacent. This is one of the most boring missions in the game, in my opinion, because of the lack of terrain features. And it's just a straight line, 8 Magic Stones, uh, assuming I counted correctly. No, it looks like 9 Magic Stones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hmm, well, whatever. Um, I don't want the enemy to summon a Heaven Nadial early, because if it does, it can jump over my head, steal magic stones, it's just obnoxious. What I am actually going to do to discourage that is start by summoning a Dome Dowler. Um, that's probably going to get a fire summon. No, it's summoned a courier bell anyway. Well, uh, that's it's loss, I guess. Because I'm going to follow up with a blacks. And move the Dome Dowler up into a flanking position. And that courier bell is just not going to be accomplishing anything with two fire summons to start. And with a Heaven Natty on my third summon will be... Or, I mean, if with an Earth Natty on the other side, my third summon will be a Heaven Natty, y'all. Two, three, four, five, six before the Aetherian, seven, eight... Yeah, so there's nine Magic Stones. It's a little hard to tell sometimes. But I am going to have the majority of them. However, with the uh, Enemy Master's higher Magic Power... It's not going to be terribly great for me. I'm going to uh, be still down on MP regen, even with uh, five magic stones to three. All right, so Courier Bell is going to go blast the uh, Aetherian there and also hit the enemy Courier Bell. Dome Dowler will be able to kill the Courier Bell. So what I am going to summon is a Pellet, just to keep the enemy's ammo pen under control. You know, better safe than sorry. Now, Blex cannot kill the Courier Bell. It just won't work. Maybe from a rear angle shot, but I don't have that available. So I'm just going to move up a little bit. Go try to get like some kind of flanking position. You know... Better safe than sorry. Take this. Oh, well. I guess it can do it from a rear rear side shot. That frees up my dumb dower to go claim the next magic stone and eat the Zamel Pen's attack. But now I have six to three magic stones. Uh, and the enemy summoned another courier Val. Gonna need some kind of Earth Nadial to help get rid of that Zamel Pen, and I'm going to go for a Gyabro. Might not be the best choice under the circumstances, because the splash damage could be a problem. But, you know, I'm willing to take the risk. Dome Dollar's just gonna move up, because, uh. I'm gonna be blocking it. Pellet can just chill out here. She doesn't have anything else to worry about. And I'm going to go steal that other magic stone. This is off to a really good start, actually. Alright, trapping the Zamel pen. And I will risk hitting my own pellet with magic, because, I mean, it's a pellet. It has high magic resistance. It doesn't have high physical resistance, but it's high enough. Gibro will go fifth, so after the Zamel pen. And, uh, I'm not going to summon anything, because I want to save my MP for magic. Enemy summons a healer. And I have a choice of magicking the courier bell or magicking the enemy master and their new healer. I'll go for the courier bell. 
Now you can actually, with uh, the AoE magic like this, you can set the facing and cast magic regardless. So the Zamo Pen will kill my pellet, but that's not really a big deal. Let's see, where can I reach with this? Move plus magic. Yeah, so I want to target... You know what? I'll just target my own Courier Bell. It's not going to do any damage, and it should kill the Zamo Pen. Or it will do one damage, because Courier Bells have terrible magic resistance. And now I can get summoned something. Let's see... What I really want to summon is something to make sure the enemy master is not going to escape no matter what. Um, I think another courier bell will do. Because my Blex can flank around. Now I'm expecting him to start summoning some kind of uh, either fire or water soon. Well. Uh take the option that hits the enemy master. And, um, hmm. I'm going to summon an Eighth Varian because there's a good chance it'll be able to get an extra hit in, and it's a kind of an unreasonably tempting decoy for Carrier Bells. They just love to hit them. So my Blex is not going to be able to get much... Mm, I guess the Blex is going to have to eat some damage to make sure the Courier Bell... Well, finish it with the melee attack on the Dome Dower. That's fine. And my poor Gia Bro can just creep up slowly. Alright, and with uh, multiple Courier Bells at my command, this is just going to end rapidly. Because there's nowhere to run or hide from Courier Bell Magic. Let's see. Yep, that can reach the enemy master. And that should kill it. So this was a pleasantly short episode, but uh, it's not much uh, depth to this one, I guess. And we get a nicely earned reward. Not much trouble, and we get some extra magic defense, and a new Nadial after two new spells. So that's all for this episode, and thank you very much for watching. This is Caffrey Elsa.